What is up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Today we're gonna be shock What is up guys? Welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the arrow tool and this is one of many YouTube video Photoshop tutorial thingy majigs that will teach you guys how to use every single tool in Photoshop and that way if you ever need to go back and watch one you can and it's fun it's good it's all good man all right so you got your Photoshop thing you popped up and you want to move stuff how are you gonna move it you're gonna use the arrow thing so this is the arrow tool the move tool um, so one of its uses is to move things around as it implies and so Another thing that you can do is by using the combination control T or Option T on Mac. I don't know this will allow you to manipulate it now You can do this without having to use the arrow tool But this is one of the things that the arrow tool may do and once you have it in um, this selection you can basically just manipulate the shape um, however you want to and if you hold control uh, your mouse changes or not really oh no it does so when you go over to a corner or one of these little boxes here and you hold control your mouse arrow thing will change into a white mouse and then you can basically do some 3d stuff right here like that or you can do that or you can do that or that or it's a it's a lot you can do a lot if you hold control and uh, move these little endpoints to wherever you want to. So this is pretty good if you want to wrap an image around something. So like maybe if you're doing something in which you have to wrap something around it. So for say, you're putting this logo on a car and the car is parked sideways and you wanna kinda angle it that way. Well, you can, you can just move these little endpoints to wherever they need to be and um, you can angle the logo that way. Once you are done, you can hit enter or you can hit this little key uh, check mark thing and there you go. And once again, with the move tool selected, you can move wherever you want it to. So once again, let's hit control T for a second. Um, if you click this radar looking toggle, <clears throat> you can also manipulate the image in a third dimension as well. And you can actually push in and out and do a lot of things so this is very 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 cool at least i think so it comes in handy when you really need to move and manipulate the shape and there's a i'm pretty sure if you hold control just kidding same thing but you get the gist you know you can just move things around you can manipulate whatever you're trying to perfectly and so there it is I know the video is pretty short but that's basically what every video is about so I'm gonna go through every single tool that you see on the left side and I will go in depth in every single episode so hopefully you enjoyed this episode you learned something from it if you have a question do not hesitate leave a comment down below I will help you to the best of my ability and thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video you know what to do thank you for watching peace out